Hey guys, this is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and of course later on a complete system build, performance test and everything, a complete review, but right now this is just an unboxing of the Arctic Liquid Freezer 240. This is a pretty good price and well, I don't know yet on the performance, but of course I'll let you know soon enough. Claims to be pretty amazing. But let's get to an unboxing real quick. Let's see what's inside and I'll talk you through a little bit more as we go through. All right, so here's the box. Uh, pretty plain in the front. I like, I like it. And this side kind of just shows you some more information there. And just more information and details over here. And the some of the specifications um, so this guy will cool Intel sockets 1150, 1151, 1155, 1156 socket 2011, socket 2011 3 and don't worry they didn't leave you Intel guys behind I'm sorry you AMD guys behind the this cools also AMD sockets AM2, AM2 plus, AM3 AM3 Plus, FM1, FM2, and FM2 Plus. So it's got you guys all covered here. Um, all right, I'm just going to lift this guy here a little bit and just start taking things out. This would be for one of the sockets. I'm not sure just yet, but of course, we'll go through it. And I believe this one's for AMD. Oh, says it right here, duh. AMD right there. And then, so I would assume this is for Intel. They don't have a sticker on here. But, yeah, actually they do. I'll go through this in a minute. Comes with the Liquid Freezer 240 Welcome Guide. Just a little guide on how to install it. All that good information here but again don't worry I'm going to go through a video show you guys hands-on these are good but nothing's better than hands-on so put this aside uh, I'm going to take the pump out and everything and just put it aside make sure there's nothing else in the box and there isn't so we're good here I'm gonna put this guy right over here for now but just to go over what comes in these little packages. All right. So this is the Intel retention ring. All right. And this is the back plate. Goes on the back of the motherboard. Fits through the little notches on the board. But again, I'll show you how to do all this. These are, you can take these off and they'll stick to the back of the board so you don't have to, you know, fumble around with it. A few zip types to keep all the cables and the tubes and everything in place. I warn you, if you're going to use these on the tubes, just don't squeeze them too tight. All right. These are the standoffs for the socket 1150, which will be for 1150 or 1151, 1155, 1156. So these will be the standoffs. Again, it says right up here, Intel 115 dash or 115X. All right. This is a little, they call it a thumb nut. That way you don't have to fumble around with any extra special tools they included here. All right. More thumb nuts here. You can use a Phillips head to tighten those in there. This is for the standoffs for the socket 2011. And these are all the screws and the washers and all that good stuff here. 
They give you a little packet of MX4. A little goes a long way, though I would have preferred if they include a little tube. That way it's a little bit more reusable than this guy. All right, so let me just put everything back in here. All right, and I don't need to, but I will take it out of the, the plastic. This is the AMD retention ring, and I'll show you in a second what these actually do. And then four standoffs for the AMD socket. I'll leave that out here outside of the wrapping because I'll show you pretty much how it works here. All right, so first off, it includes Four, four F12 PWM PST 120 millimeter low noise fans. They're all going to be the same. I'll just take out one. And these are not sleeve. These are fluid dynamic bearings, so longer lifespan there. All right. Put that aside for now. Again four of them. Anything else in there? Nothing else in there. Just wanted to show you that real quick. All right. So this is the bad boy itself. I'm a little surprised that they didn't actually put the MX4 here already on the cold plate. Um, usually some manufacturers will already pre-paste that for you, but I guess they figure a lot of you are just going to go ahead and wipe it off and put something else. Usually what they include is better than a lot of other things. And just in case, the cold plate is a micro skived fin, uh, copper obviously here. Put that aside. And then just to show you here, this little um, retention ring, you would kind of just put that over here and lock it into place. But I'll show you that in the in the build. But I just wanted to show you that real quick over here. All right. And I mean, a lot of other people do it, but they just mentioned it, that these tubes, you know, ultra flexible, that way that you can fit them in the tightest of spaces. So that's pretty cool. And this is 240 by 120 millimeter radiator. 38 millimeters deep aluminum radiator so fit very nice feels nice and cool all right so the reason they include four fans for those of you that may not know is for a push-pull design you don't need to use all four but you will get optimal heat dissipation by using all four so you can put them and I'm not gonna put them exactly but you'll see it in my review you know, you would put two on this side and two on this side. And then there you have your pull and your push or your push and your pull, however you decide to do it. But that's basically it. I just wanted to go over that with you real quick. This comes with a six year warranty. I'm assuming the six year warranty is you know on the radiator and the cold plate if anything though it may be on the fans too since it is con uh, in the package so these are more consumables I would say but either way a six year warranty that is pretty awesome but anyway you will see the full review soon on dragonblogger.com and well again just doing an unboxing on the Arctic Liquid Freezer 240 Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys.